treacherously steep. What sort of place is Grand Sorin? I am eager to see it. Any creature of flesh like being ignited. I cannot reach the creatures come. Cut them down, they grow frenzied. Stay calm. There must be ought here that will open the gates. Yes, this obvious lever. It's even you know, glow in the dark. to catch them as they're running in with that barrel. Now arisen, end it. They grow frenzied. Even in numbers, a weakling is a weakling. Let's have its armor and shield off. Dock it to the crowd. We'll rout them in a single charge. We're not far now, that men. Item is mine. Keep Filling up his lantern. Whoops. Marching. I'll take that. Goblins hate fire. Did it. This looks interesting. I really need to get around to, um, That game I mentioned back in Witcher, uh, Kenshi, Tenshi, whatever. Good. We've come this far safely. Stay vigilant till we're in Grand Soren's gates, men. I've been looking forward to playing that, but I just haven't gotten around to getting it. Game looks fantastic. For those who don't know, it's a squad-based. Um, RPG, uh, but you can have like multiple squads. It's. I think you can pause it, but it's otherwise in real time. And you can now like, automate stuff, so you can have guys going between ore veins and base depositing stuff, then have others taking that ore and making it into stuff, and then you can have people. You know, and you know when they have no materials, do, to have them doing something else, Goblin! and then have it all automated, and all the while you're off, you know, waging war on someone or what have you, with your with some other squads. You can buy buildings, you can build places. <laughs> Multiple different races. Which have an impact on the game. It's we are nearly there, men. March. We have triumphed. This looks interesting. Calm down, there, Mercedes. Keep an eye turned to the shadows. Let's expose our 
Not moving. Not too concerned about some gobbies. I mean, sure they are. Since we're getting here at night, we'll get a different bit of cuts dialogue than when uh, than we did previously. Uh, this time, it's like we'll get automatically rested at the inn. Seriously. Where? Time round, to my to my recollection. They are no longer. Be a mercy to destroy them. Who knows what lies in wait? Let's proceed with caution. Stench, all repulsive. A good start to any task is talking with others. Let's begin with that. Keep close, our reason. The Duke will have no use for you today. Um, keep close, our reason. Keep close, our reason. The Duke will have no use for you today. I thank you. Not seen you. It is very There's kind. certainly no call. Just trying to get her crunk. We share these roads with traveling peddlers, guardsmen, and other folk. Sorin, capital of Gransis. Shall we enter a risen? The Grand System. Suddenly, sci fi game. Talk to these guys. Okay. We've arrived. Well done, men. A Hydra's head is a fine prize. His grace will be pleased with the cause work. Walk proud through these streets, men. We are heroes to the people of Grand Sorin. Good. Rest up, men. This way. Didn't get that first time around. It's not exactly much of an addition. Smiles upon me. Well met, sir, and he said. Just the f expression on this guy, just seem, uh, in that cutscene, just funny to me. It's just. I, I keep reading it either. He's checking out the Arisen's ass and likes what he sees, or something malevolent. That's the two ways my mind goes about it. Ironically, I'm a cobbler. Now you've come to the capital, a conquering hero. You'll be needing all to do, eh? My word to you, begin with the pawns. Inquire about them here in Grand Sol. Their kinds woven tight into the fate of the Arisen. If you know your destiny, know them. The items you have received have been distributed to you, your main pawn, and item storage. I feel more familiar with this what to do in this quest. 
These days, good weapons are need no different than food or shelter. The master works all, you can't go wrong. Oh, it's that guy that gets to use maces. And warriors get to use judgment. Good good. So at least I do get some degree of anti um scally. Hogany. Maybe I should go with a shoulder cape for that extra bit of stamina. Um, so we could grab Clim uh, Crimson Glare. The master works all. Come again. The inn serves as a uh, as a guild for local adventurers. Speak with. Uh -huh. This inn can serve as the hub. Are you the reason the men of the core speak up? Forgive me, I spoke poorly. I simply imagined the sort of figure pulled right from legend. Uh, remember, I was saying how in the past, like due to uh, your um, affinity growing with people too much by just talking to them, that you could end up having a random NPC as your beloved. This guy was an example of it. Pray, allow me to begin anew. I am Asala, and this is my inn. Though we deal in a number of Traits here. I hope this is the first of many visits, sir. I am at your service. Oh, you wish to learn of the Pond Legion? Then the shortest path to the answers you seek leads west from here. There you'll find Grand Soren's Pond Guild. It is a gathering place for their kind. Just tell the sentries you have business with the guild. They'll let you pass them. Have your pick, any you like. Could go for Strider, or that does actually look pretty cool. Uh, Strider or Mage? Huh? I could just hop in as Mystic Archer. Assassin. <laughs> just kill him with their with his ab window. Oh yeah, this is more like it. Human resources. <laughs> Christ. Oh, got a jester's cap, tiara of enlightenment, and ruminator's monocle. I'll go for the borrowed helm. Okay, what's this about? Um, just suddenly having all this gear, it's rather jarring.
It's wrong to put some of those away. There's some stuff I can't use anymore, so I got carried away in thinking what I couldn't use. Let's calm that down or I'll kill, friggin' kill someone with a seizure. Um, what will it be today? Okay, I'm gonna look this up. Oh, this is gear, uh, gear from uh, uh, Dark Arisen. It's gear for different um, Of other reason. Like, that was worn by some Ash guy, and you have to fight him later on. Yeah, even with that weird, like, aura around it is, uh, from that particular set. The fact I have this for free is irritating to me. Well, it looks like a very good set of armor. Outfit. What will it be today? Change equipment. I want to stop standing here and wearing whatever the hell I'm wearing. And that's the other guy's outfit. So I'm gonna be honest, why why I'm looking at him right now, it still looks like he's a kicking rack. But uh anyway. <laughs> it's very tempting to stop this on. Okay, that's both coating and armor. So if I stop, stop that, well, hide on, and chainmail, it will be a little worse. You know what? It isn't actually that much of a step up. I can justify it. It's also heavy as shit.
I, 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 actually, I, I should have really paid more attention. It takes up all armor slots. So, it doesn't seem too egregious. And actually, you can't even wear a helmet with it. So yeah, it doesn't seem too egregious uh, to wear it. Like, sometimes you can buy, get these bonus sets of armor. That, Like, for example, with Dead Space, if you go and buy the bonus armor there, it's the top, the, in the first game, it's the top tier armor. There's like a few, few different tier sets in a tree or five in Dead Space. And it's the top tier. So you spend like five quid and you got the best armor, all inventory slots, best defenses, everything from the get-go. This doesn't seem that egregious. It There's a fair trade-off to it. It seems fine. Actually, 